everybody Ann here just sitting outside in front of the chicken yard because it's not raining. It's not raining right now, but it's going to be raining in a little bit. Back to the fuzzy hair again. Yeah, wash my hair again. Been taking more showers than usual because this whole rash thing, it just feels so good to have that cold water coming down on, on me, you know. Um, so that's what I've been doing. It is getting better. I'm putting, I'm still putting a lot of baby, uh, cornstarch baby powder on it. Um, and it still itches a little bit and the, the back is the worst because I know I can't really reach it. I don't have a back scratcher, but it's, it's going to get better and it's going to be fine. So today, well, I'm going to show you a few things that I've been doing over the last few days, trying to nurse myself. <laughs> I've been making some comfort food and I've done some more weird planting. So I'm going to show you that too. And I think that I have a taker for Tyson the rooster who is, ah, he's just gotten so gorgeous. So hopefully she'll be over a little bit later on and I think you're gonna recognize her. One little tiny green tomato fell off while I was working with the plant, so I got a wild hair up and decided to do this. I decided to pickle some things. On the left are pickled green tomatoes and onions. I've got some thyme in there. And on the right are pickled eggs. And it's the same recipe that I use that's in my little recipe book. I use the same brine for both jars and they're in the refrigerator right now pickling. So I'm gonna try and wait at least two days before I try them out. But I know they're gonna be delicious. And I'm glad that I picked the tomatoes when they're so young and small because a lot of times I have waited till the tomatoes got too big or too ripe and they end up just kind of falling apart. So I think these are really firm and I think they're gonna turn out much better. The nasturtium is in full bloom. Well, I mean, I got a couple flowers and look at all those leaves. Look, but you know what? You can eat the flowers and you can eat the leaves. So I am definitely going to harvest some of these today and throw them in something. I don't know what, gonna throw them in something delicious. Look at how big they're getting though. I've already tasted the leaves and one flower and the flowers are really sweet and the leaves just remind me of lettuce. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna throw that in some dinner tonight. Ain't that pretty? I think so. Guess who I'm having coffee with? Lena from Red Road Homestead. She's <laughs> you're coming to pick up Tyson, right? Yeah. Do you want there are two other well, there's actually three other white chickens. I wanna keep one of them. Mm -hmm. The one with the funky colored olive legs. But if you want, you can have Dot and the other um, white chicken. If okay. you don't, if you don't want them, you don't have to take them though. Okay, that's fine. You want them? Yeah. <gasps> Ew. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's gonna help because I've got the four Easter egg or baby chickens inside, and then I have nine that Miss Pris. I gotta get her back on the nest here in a minute. Um, she's out like doing her little mm -hmm. thing. Um, there's nine eggs in there, so I don't know how many of them are gonna hatch. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have too many chickens. Um. So good, you'll you'll be helping me out. You come back. Yes, it? I did. Okay. It took me a while to get the one gift because I made a video on mine, but there was supposed to have been two of them. Okay. Let me. Whoops. So here's one of the little handy dandy gifts I brought oh, you. What's in here? <gasps> oh yes, corn muffin mix. Yep. Prepared cornbread mix. Is this the kind that you only have? Milk and an egg. Mm -hmm. That's all you. Oh, and you brought me chicken. This, Lots of chicken. These are the packets of chicken that I love so much. Now these are ten ounce. I had bought like a twelve pack, a seven ounce pack, seven ounce packs off of Amazon. Mm -hmm. Oh, Miss Pris. Mm -hmm. Um, and it cost forty bucks. And these are ten wow. ounce packs. So, um, I actually. I know you like to add chicken and stuff to some of your dishes. So I I did last and night. And it's like a. Prepper, you don't got to put it in the fridge. Nope. You can just stick it wherever you need it. Yep. And then I did some remodeling, so I didn't know if you wanted these or not. If you, you're always creative, you can make Absolutely. so many things. So. Absolutely. I can use these. These are perfect sized bins to go in this one little spot that I need because they're slim. So absolutely, thank you. And then this is antique, and I didn't want to throw it out. So if you don't want it, but oh, I know you make things out of shelves, yes. and it's kind of dusty, but ma'am, would you look at this? This is going up on the wall. Look at that. It's a little shelf unit. It says baked goods, uh, Thompson's baked goods, baked goods that taste like mom's from the kitchen 
from our kitchen to yours. Heck yeah, that's gonna be perfect in the tiny house. And Thank you. There for the one I've really, really been waiting on to come out here is this book, The Lost Rem um, Herbal Remedies, because it has the pictures. It tells you how to make this stuff. It symbolizes everything. Oh my gosh, okay, so I have my Bible. Mm -hmm. I have my mushroom book, and now I have my herb book. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. And they show that every now and then on some of the commercials on YouTube. Yeah. She's very the very knowledgeable doctor. Oh, yes. And there's big pictures. Sassafras. I've got this growing all over the place. See that? See that? Sassafras. Uh, what else? Oh, it's got all kinds of color pictures. Mm -hmm. So this is wonderful. This is what I need. I need color pictures, and I can't really even see because I got my sunglasses on. Oh, this is so awesome! Thank and it tells you, you what to use it for medicine, and Thank you how so to much. make a medicine, and everything. It's step by step. It just makes it so simple. Oh, this is so wonderful! Wonderful! Oh man! I, I mean, I could just literally. Oh, borage! I planted borage. I need to know, where did that go? Where did the boards go? I'll look at it later. I'll read it later. <laughs> I'm sweating. Um, and I'm kind of sweating big time because I don't know how I'm going to catch these, these chickens for you. So let's get your little transport thing done first, and then we can see if I can catch those chickens. Okay. All righty. We caught them. We did. This one I caught in a net, and then basically Lena caught the other ones with her bare hands, more or less. So I'm giving her Dot... This one, I hadn't given it a name, but I think she's pretty because she's got those little earmuffs. And then, of course, Tyson the rooster. He crows. His crow is getting better every single day. So what do you think, Lena? I think it's awesome. Yay! I think we'll name the other one Sweet Cheeks. Oh, oh that's a good name. <laughs> it's got little cheeks. Well, you're going to keep me updated on yeah. like Show them on video and stuff yeah. so everybody can see. Oh, that is, I cannot wait to see how these chickens grow up. Just look. Oh, this is a magnificent rooster. He's already starting to tidbit, and he's tried to mate with the big girls. He tried to mate with Coco the other oh day. <laughs> yeah, Coco was having none of it. She, he was on top of her, though. I couldn't believe it. Phew, let's just relax. I've got some really, really good news, you guys. I followed a guy named Jeff Sheck uh, in the comments section. He instructed me on how to troubleshoot this and fix it, and looky here. Now, it's not fully charged yet, but it is. I was able to get it to recognize 12 volt. It now recognizes that it's daytime and it's charging. Up to 12.6. 76%. I'm getting my refrigerator nice and cold. But everything is back to normal. It's working. And now all I need to figure out is how to fix that battery terminal inside this box. Up to 90% now, which is great. How much am I getting in? What? 20? No way. Yeah. That's awesome. We're doing great, you guys. It's fixed. I like to leave it on the percentage. I decided to make chicken tacos. Yes. I get this stuff from Pace. It's got black beans and corn and chilies and taco seasoning in it. And I added a bag of that chicken that I love so much and made me some chicken tacos. Yeah, I kind of tore up the leaves and the flowers and put them down as kind of like, you know, a topping. Added some cheese. Oh, you guys, it was so good. I made four of them, and you know what? I was still hungry when I was done, so guess what I made next? Well, I went ahead and used the leftover filling to make a chicken taco salad. I just crunched up some tortillas, threw it all down on there, and some hot sauce. Mmm, so good. Woo, it's heating up out here. It's 87 degrees, but it feels like it's 96 because of the humidity. So in a minute here, I'm going to... Put Papa in the truck with me and we're going to go for a drive in the nice air conditioning and maybe stop by and get a bite to eat and a cold drink. And I always get a cup of ice for Papa and give him a little bit to chew on. But I did want to thank Lena from Red Road Homestead for stopping by today and picking up those chickens. It really helps me a lot. And for those lovely gifts. They are amazing. That book is so cool. It is just an amazing gift. Poor Papa. He's so hot. Um, I'm going to see if I can maybe hose him down a little bit later on today. Um, but anyhow, yeah, thank you, Lena. 
definitely I'm going to be able to use that little shelving thing. So that is awesome. I think that's all I got for you today. You know what? The, the little weird planting project that I did, I'll show you that tomorrow. Yeah, I'll save that for tomorrow's video. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.